Now, go, give me 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Let me tell you men and you women something. Everybody puts on an act when it comes to relationships. They don't show you the real you. Like, for example, when you meet the sister, you don't burp or fart around her. <laughs> Just for example, you hold that and she holds it in. Oh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> but when she relaxes around you, <laughs> I'm just I'm keeping it real. Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. I hope you sisters understand that. It says believe, but read it again. 2 Corinthians 6, verse 14. Be, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Don't be hooked up with unbelievers. Brothers, and let me tell you, sister, something. Some brothers come in, in the doors, not that they believe, but they look at the videos and they go, wow, them sisters at IUIC is lovely. I want to get one of them. And a sister's sitting there, and she wants a good revolutionary man. But you find out he's not revolutionary at all. He's a dud. He's a lump on a log. You get with him, he has no inspiration to go to camp. He don't even want to hand out a damn flyer. And you already laid with him. You're like, well, why ain't you doing something? Go out with the men. Do this, do that. I wanted a revolutionary man. And he says, but I'm not revolutionary at all. <laughs> I just wanted what's between your legs. That's all I wanted. And I got you. Now, sister, you stuck. With that lump, that log on a, what is the expression? You don't know. <laughs> lump on a log, thank you. Lump on a log. Bishop, uh, uh, the example happened to a sister came from Canada. You remember? Yes. Canada. And I deal with, she's probably the second or third wife. But she did not prove that man. She did not uh, try that man. You know, and she just went right in it because he thought that, oh, I see the brother had fringes on. But no, you have to prove a friend. That's what scripture says. Exactly. Get Sirach 37 and verse 12. Sirach, which is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 37 and verse 12. The book of Sirach, chapter 37 and verse 12. But be continually with a godly man. So you brothers, you want a, or sisters, you want a plutonic relationship, which is meaning just friends. It says, but be continually with a godly man. You sisters want romance. You want marriage. The same principle applies. Read that again. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. That's what you want. Whether it's plutonic or romantic, it's the same principles. Okay? So, 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 so. In order to know whether or not he or she keeps the commandments, you got to observe that person. You must listen to their conversation. And when I say observe, let me explain what I mean when I say observe, sisters. Listen to what I'm about to say. I'm going to help you out. Brothers, I'm going to help you out too. I'm going to start with the sisters first. Sisters talking to a brother. They're outside. Another woman is walking down the street. Now, what Laba's the sister. I'm, to I'm talking to her. But this sister's walking by, and he's like, yeah, sis, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, uh-huh. And here's the booty. Yeah, the don't, the don't. He's like this. Yeah, sis, you know, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. What would you say? What would you say? You don't want to get a dude like that. And some of your sisters seen that. And you brothers, here go the sister. You talking to her. You take out your wallet. She's trying to look in your wallet. Watch that. <laughs> You go to the bathroom, you leave your wallet on the table or something, you go to the restroom and you come back, she open it up. What's in there? How much money he got? Or she's just looking, well, brothers don't mind this, but brothers like when sisters look at how big their feet are. Brothers like that thing. Okay, but that ain't wifey material. I'm telling y'all now, that ain't wifey material at all because there's going to be a nooker that walk by with bigger feet than yours. Now what? <laughs> Give me Sirach 6 and 7 again. The book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Y'all sisters say I be not hasty to credit. Yeah, he keeps the commandments. 
He went to a, a congregation on Sabbath day. Sister, there's more to the commandments than that. You know, in Sunday school, many of us went to Sunday school. We were little black demons in church. We went to church every Sunday and cut up. Mama, I got to go to the bathroom. We had, a, we had a cue for all the kids to go to the bathroom. We go, Mama, we see the little hand go up. Mama, I go to the bathroom. Okay, go ahead. All little boys and little girls, we all went at the same. Nobody figured it out for years. <laughs> we didn't go to the bathroom because we had to pee. No, we went there to mess around, and that's what we was doing. So just because you're coming to the congregation, this is my point, this is the point I'm getting to, don't mean that they're right. And sister, don't mean that they're right. They're here looking. Remember the sister that came in? She's like, you might remember. As soon as she walked through the door, she said, where's the, the, uh, the marriage? Uh, what did she say? Where's the, where's the list of the brothers that's single? Why? Because she was online looking at all the handsome brothers. Oh, that one right there looked good. I want to get with him. That's what she's doing. Soon as she was, she didn't even sit down here. She says, where's the application to fill it out? <laughs> she got tired of being passed around. Yeah, that happened to one time when I was in Miami. Hmm. She said, just came in. That's what about, where's the single man? It happened to in Miami. Exactly. Read on. Verse 8. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. You sisters, in case you didn't know it, now this is all plutonic, but I'm throwing it for the romance for the women. Sisters, it says some man is a friend for his own occasion. Some dudes get out of jail. You got sisters writing the brothers in jail. Now I'm not saying brothers in jail don't need a wife. They do need a wife. But, sister, he can't do nothing for you. You writing him pen, what is it called, pen pal letters? Okay. Pen pal, he coming out, he can't, he can't do nothing for you. He's a friend for his own occasion. He telling his boys in jail, yo, she got her own crib. She got a car. She don't look half all that. But what she got, I need. That's a friend for his own occasion. And you write, writing the dude in jail. He coming out. Where you live? Give me your address, girl. I'm coming to see you. He, he needs a place to live, sis. <laughs> He needs a place to live. See, and you're going to find out when, you, when a man needs a place to live, he's going to tell you the right things. He's going to say all the right things so he can lay his head down. And while he's at it, he ain't had no, none of that in a long time, so he's just going to use you. I can't use those words. I'll just say he's just going to use you. I word it like it. Read it again. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. When you go through your hard time, sister, he gone. Oh, you're about to lose your house? You're about to lose the car? I'm out. He's going to find the next girl already. He already had it lined up. Read on. Verse 9. Now remember, this is going into platonic relationships. I don't want y'all to forget. It's going into friends, friends, but it's also the same principles for romance. Read on. Verse 9. And there is a friend who, being turned to enmity and strife, will discover thy reproach. You brothers ever have a relationship with a woman and she get mad with you? And she reveal all your laundry. And sisters, too. The dude is Now, and you sisters that be having sex, I'll say, I won't point over there. Where's the line online? Where's the online camera? You sisters that's home right now, you having sex with that man, and you letting him videotape you, you stupid as hell. The second y'all have a falling out, guess what he going to do with the video? It's upload. Ooh. Now you're behind. It's all on the internet. And some of them dudes be showing it to their friends. Y'all know what I'm saying? Everybody quiet now. Some of you sisters go, oh, yeah, well, he does that instead of porn. No, sis. He's showing you behind to all his friends. Then when you, he get mad at you, he's going to upload that thing. You're going to be upset. Bishop, that's the thing of the world right now. Remember with all these stars, video come out, that's the thing of the world. They do that and showing to their friends. Look, I sleep with her. That's what it is. Exactly. What verse you at? That was verse 9. Go ahead. Verse 10. Again, some friend is a companion at the table. You got some food? To, and sisters know that. You ever see these women on Facebook? They show you their pretty face and a plate of food. Watch them hoes. <laughs> they trying to draw you in. And you know why? Because I'm, you know what we need to start doing? I'm going to just say this. I'm going to say it. Somebody might get mad. Brothers, all these sisters, and these sisters don't know how to cook. 
Sex only lasts but so long. The excitement lasts but so long. After a while, you get tired of McDonald's. One of the brothers in the back, I ain't going to point him out, ran into the school mad, banging on the table. Said, what the hell is wrong with you? He said, I'm sick of my Chinese food. I said, why don't you have your wife cook? She don't know how to cook. He was mad like his wig almost flew back. <laughs> you sisters better hook up with the sisters that know how to cook. The scriptures say, man, know thyself. Or I word it like the scriptures say, examine yourself. You gotta, if you don't, sisters, you don't. Some of you sisters, some of them are in denial. And now denial is not a river in Africa. They don't know how to cook. But they don't want to admit it. They're going to cook you the nastiest thing. about here, Tyrone. Here, eat that. And it's nasty as hell. You better hook up with the sisters that know how to cook. And more, mainly it's the older women that know how to cook. Uh, when I got married, I had my wife, she had, I said, you've got to go to Bishop Kanai's house and sit down with Sister Paya and learn how to cook West Indian food because that's what I want to eat right now. I'm tired of Judah food. It clogs my arteries. It's greasy. What the hell is this? All this dripping grease everywhere. You're like a jerry curl on your food. The oil just be flinging. I'm like, damn. Bishop, I'm glad you acknowledged that. <laughs> oh, I didn't mention Levi food yet. 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 <laughs> Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org